Hello and welcome to What Are We Playing This Week, the show where I try to recommend to you a couple of video games based on a certain ID, and the idea this week is multiplayer platformer combat games. What the hell does that mean? Well, you've obviously not played Soldat or T-Worlds or other games of that nature, but those games are free for the most part, and the next ones aren't. So let's begin with probably the greatest video game ever made in my humble duck fencing opinion, Duck Game. This is a game where you control ducks. Ducks that quack around because you have a dedicated quack button, something that very few ga I would wager that no other game actually has. So keep that in mind, you have a quack button and you go around shooting other ducks in the face or hitting them with several other objects. You can even pick up ducks and throw them off the map. Well, if they feign death or if they faint, you can pick them up and throw them or you can, or you can freeze them. You can freeze ducks and then pick up the ice cube with the duck in it and throw it off the map and kill them. Because these ducks can can they can fly that well because they're they're combat ducks. Their wings are clipped, man. Their wings are clipped. They were in Nam. Probably. I don't know. I've never met the ducks myself. I'm just a big fan. And you can find Duck Game on Steam now for the price of 13 euros. Up next is the showdown effect. Now are the servers for this game mostly empty and does it have some connectivity issues that may hinder your ability to play it? Well, yeah, it may have some issues, truly, yeah, sometimes it happens, but when you do manage to get into a game, you'll have a very fun experience because you can pick one of several characters, each with its own unique style and different ability, and just kick ass left and right until you get tired or until you die permanently because th this game has something called a showdown. Which means that when the match is almost over, when there is just one minute or two minutes left, Instead of just fighting for who gets the most kills, respawns are disabled and the showdown begins, the showdown, where the map just starts to explode, giant monsters pop up, there's Godzilla fighting some giant robot, there's volcanoes exploding, there's castles under siege by dragons and the music. Oh dear lord, the music is just something that will give your ears an orgasm. Not sure exactly what the copyright on the music is, so I won't play it for you, but trust me. The music that begins in the last moments of every match is the music you're gonna use for your alarm clock years later. I still do. And it's my ringtone. It's the kind of music that when you hear it, you just want to grab a battle axe, a shotgun, and perhaps consenting adults to use them okay bad example it'll get you pumped up and it's a fantastic game when there's no lag issues you can find the showdown effect right now on steam for the price of 10 euros and lastly is a game called move or die now unlike duck game and the showdown effect this one isn't specifically centered on direct combat yeah there is combat in it there are game modes that are specifically angled towards combat but it's not a combat focused game it's a party game where you have to do all sorts of quick and crazy challenges while constantly moving if you stand still for more than uh, i guess four seconds you die you explode you lose and you'll have to just go through each challenge with your friends, killing each other with missiles, bumping each other off into spikes, or just painting the level, running a race, dodging things, and in general doing fun things until one of you gets so mad he'll leave and never talk to you again. Well, he'll be back tomorrow, but you know, people, they get salty, especially in games like this. Moveward, I also just received an interesting update that added more game modes and you can find it on Steam for the price of 15 euros. Well, that would be it for multiplayer platformer combat games, games where you jump around and shoot people or do something horrible to them, but also amusing to you, not to them. Tune in next time for more gaming recommendations. Uh...
Thank you for watching this show. If you enjoyed it, please consider watching some of our other videos and maybe sharing them or giving a thumbs up if you feel like it. And if you really, really liked what you saw, please check out our Patreon page. For just $1 a month, you could help us make much better shows and get some rewards in the process. Or you could consider buying my book called Tale of Doom. Volume 1 is out now and available for just $2. And as always, if you thought it was horrible, you know where to find me and complain about it.